director of the Reeve Irvine Research Center, University of California, Irvine. Uh, it was established 10 years ago uh, in, uh, in a gift from Joan Irvine Smith to recognize Chris and to really put together a center that would uh, uh, be able to be a core area for uh, basic science research in spinal cord injury. My own work focuses on repair and uh, regeneration of the corticospinal tract. The spinal tract, of course, is the pathway in the brain that's responsible for our voluntary movement, our ability to reach out and touch something and grasp and pick up a glass and drink and all these things we really care about. We have been working on regeneration of this pathway in mice uh, because they offer opportunities for genetic modifications that are proof of concepts for molecular, uh, future molecular targets, so drugs, for example. One of the things that we've been especially interested in are mice that carry mutations in pathways that regulate cyclic nucleotides. So we all have learned over the past few years that cyclic AMP and uh, certain other cyclic nucleotides enhance axon growth, and these are already being uh, used in at least some uh, uh, thoughts about clinical trials. Uh, the, the main agent that has been already used in people, of course, is Rolopram. The problem with Rolopram is that it is a drug that hits one of these uh, en enzymes, these isotopes, that happens to be expressed in the vomiting center of the brain, which is not good news. <laughs> so we are uh, interested in uh, evaluating other PDEs. There are a, a broad number of these, and of course they've been uh, targets of drug development because of uh, their uh, potential effect on erectile dysfunction. Drug companies have uh, hordes of these things. and have developed mice that are lacking different PDE isoforms. So we're busy testing these mice for uh, regeneration of the corticospinal tract and have some data which I think are, is really quite exciting along those lines.